Happening today, Fashion Next Week officially back in person. One of the top runway shows in America kicks off tonight in downtown Portland. The event brings together some of our area's top fashion designers. In fact, I'll be one of the judges for the Up Next Emerging Designers category, uh, which is happening tonight. And joining us on the couch right now with a preview is Tito Chaudhary, uh, CEO of Fashion Next. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Uh, it would be great to see you um, again being uh, one of the judges uh, for one of the amazing Fashion Next programs up next. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be great. Just talk about Fashion Next Week, the return to in-person runway shows, and, and what it means for the city. Absolutely. It is uh, one of the uh, biggest uh, PR and media event uh, for the city at a time when uh, so many people are feeling that they have to stay home or at least uh, not to come to downtown Mm -hmm. uh, in with as much excitement, uh, with uh, nicely dressed up and going out shopping, going out enjoying their life, we are uh, going the opposite direction. We are leaning into our city, we are leaning into downtown, uh, doing the event, uh, the biggest and the best in one of the most iconic buildings on Broadway. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's great to see it coming back in person this year. Uh, but for anyone who's unfamiliar, I mean, Portland has a, a huge fashion scene. This is one of the biggest events for fashion in the country. Absolutely, and uh, as mentioned in many multiple um, <clears throat> national and international publications and ah. industry experts, and that's why you will be seeing designers coming from all over the country and internationally, from New York City to uh, Canada, uh, from LA, just some of the biggest uh, independent designers are coming here in Portland. Yeah. Yeah, and we produce a lot of uh, really well-known designers. You know, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, Seth Aaron, who is a Project Runway winner. We've had several Project Runway winners come out of Portland. Uh, this is a real creative community when it comes to fashion, isn't it? Absolutely, and uh, Portland, uh, as you know, is at its best when it is uh, fostering and supporting uh, designers' growth, uh, creatives' growth, and fashion in Portland is very different than fashion in a lot of people's mind. Fashion here is art, fashion here is creativity, fashion here is micro-entrepreneurship, people creating uh, in their studio beautiful things uh, for their clients one-on-one -on -one or a small batch. So it is uh, very exciting. Uh, Portland said is at its best when they are coming uh, out and supporting uh, fashion designers. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about the events that are happening uh, starting tonight through the week, into the weekend uh, that people can be a, a part of. What can we come out and see? Uh, well, as Ken mentioned, tonight um, is one of our most favorite nights. Uh, up next, Emerging Designers Accelerators Runway Finale. So we take these designers uh, all, more than a year uh, under our belt, under our wings, and we uh, do a selection process uh, as, uh, by a judge of, uh, panel of judges. We then help them through mentorships. And tonight is our finale where the judges will decide uh, who is the top uh, emerging designers and uh, they will be getting a prize and more uh, business support. Uh, and then also Vian Vutur, she is one of the uh, local established uh, designers and boutique owners. Um, and then tomorrow, several of the uh, best independent designers who survived through COVID and uh, did well, will be showing along with um, Seth Aaron, who uh, Project Runaway winner, and uh, the followed by Saturday, there are uh, all the uh, national and international designers that are coming from, uh, like Mondo Guerra from New York City, um, and they'll be all uh, showing, and every night there is after party. Yeah, oh, and, and the party is good, too. <laughs> I got to let you know, when you get your tickets, I don't say when you get your, if you get your tickets, when you uh -huh. get your tickets, uh, stick around for the party after the runway show. You can speak from personal experience. Yes, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. yeah. Are there any uh, uh, trends coming out of this area that you know about uh, that we should be looking out for? Absolutely. I think uh, what we are seeing that designers and boutique owners who, are, who have gone through the COVID, they are time-tested. Mm -hmm. They are... Um, now, <clears throat> more towards consumers, more towards individual one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, custom making, you know, or small batch custom making. So I call it sustainable luxury. 
Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. That's really cool. Oh, I'm so excited to, to learn more about that and to see, you know, all of our, our local designers come in together on this international stage, you know, uh, to really get to put Portland fashion back in the spotlight where it belongs. Tito, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Great to talk with you and have fun this weekend. Thank you. Yeah, as you mentioned about tickets, fashionx.com. We have very few tickets uh, left and uh, it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's definitely a well-attended event. Thanks, mm -hmm. Tito, again. I'll see you tonight. Yes. Uh, again, the 2022 Fashion X Week runway shows kick off this evening. They run through Saturday, and you can get tickets to watch all the fashion unfold in person at the Union Bank Tower in downtown Portland, a new venue this year. Go to fashionx.com tickets for more information.